How you doing guys and welcome to another Pokemon card opening. This is kind of a different kind. It's not just a regular open up booster pack kind of opening. We got the Pokemon TCG Battle Academy, which if I understand correctly is basically a board game version of the regular TCG. And what do I mean by board game? I think it means, well basically, it's meant to stick together as one thing. It's not meant to be opened like a booster pack and separated out in your collection. Though I'm sure... There's nothing wrong with that. It's meant to be played as a board game. It does come with three complete 60-card TCG decks. You got the Raichu one, the Mewtwo one, and the Charizard one. You got guides on how to play these decks. You got the actual game board, which I do believe is actually a game board. You got little boxes to keep your cards in. You got tutorials on how to keep things going. And uh, the rule book, the coin, damage counters... You have everything you need to teach somebody how to play the Pokemon TCG game. So that is pretty legit, especially if you are a parent that still enjoys collecting Pokemon cards and you have something that kind of to teach your kids with. I, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of this because often you, you're left with either creating decks yourself or go out going out to Walmart and getting... Uh -huh like starter decks and trying to teach your kids in that way or you got the two-player starter decks but i think this is an excellent way to actually teach your kids how to play pokemon so let's kind of take a moment and appreciate this this is actually a game board actually a game board <laughs> it's nice and hard it folds out and it's exactly what you need to teach your kids or anybody you're a loved one, a friend, to how to play the Pokemon TCG. So you get the Pikachu deck guide, which kind of gives you tips on how to play. Solid. Got the Mewtwo one, or Mewtwo, Charizard one. Again, teaching you how to use your deck. You got your GX token, your HP hit, HP hit counters, whatever you want to call them. And you got the Mewtwo book. Feels a little bit thicker, like maybe there might be a little more stuff to it. Now you got a code card, which you guys are more than welcome to have and enjoy. Which I do want to take a moment to say, this code card does not feel like a regular code card. It's like a flimsy piece of paper this time around. And then you got the decks themselves. Very nice. And then you got an absolute powerhouse of a coin here. Take a moment to just appreciate that coin. It's got Charizard, Mewtwo, and Pikachu on it. And at the moment, I do not have a coin to compare, but look at that. That is huge. That is huge compared to ones that they usually have. And then inside the actual box, you have little slots for everything to fit in very nicely. So that is very nice. I am very impressed. Now, this was only $20. $20 for three decks. $20 to teach whoever you want to teach how to play this game. I'm going to move the camera in a little bit so we can really focus on the cards here. So $20 for three decks. A nice coin. This is a solid deal. I'm not even going to try and steer you the wrong way. Like Anybody in their right mind will look at this and know that this is a, a solid deal. So this is the Mewtwo deck right here. You get that awesome Mewtwo GX. And if you look here... There is a difference, so if you are a hardcore collector and you like variant cards, this would be considered a variant card. Still got the 31 out of 68, like uh, from Shining Legends, I think that is. But now you have one that has the little Mewtwo symbol. And they do have the regular backs. So that's really interesting. Pokemon has never done something like that. So, to my knowledge, let me correct you there, to my knowledge. I mean, besides regular starter decks... Um, or the variants of non-holographic rare versions of cards. Like, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, if they've done something where they've actually included GXs that look exactly the same as the, the set card, but just with that little symbol there. But you got solid trainers, you got um, pretty much what you need to learn how to play uh, the Pokemon TCG. And it's already mixed up. So you can take this right out of the box and just start right up. You don't even have to shuffle. But, uh, yeah. I mean, the, 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 
just to be fair, to be straight, that you're not going to be able to just buy this box, enter a tournament, and be able to own. I mean, absolutely not. That's what the World Championship decks are. Basically, you get those, and you can start kicking butt right out of the box, but that's why they have different backs. But this right here, this is a solid way to teach people how to start playing. And it's a solid way to do it with some GX, some, some GX cards, some very noticeable or memorable Pokemon. So you got Mewtwo. Everybody knows who Mewtwo is. You got Charizard. Everybody knows who Charizard is. You got Pikachu. Everybody knows who Pikachu is. So these are some solid decks that are going to catch the attention of children if you're trying to teach them. And like I said, great way to teach somebody. So there's the Charizard. Again, regular decks. So I'm, it looks like Cynthia's in this one as well. So it's probably a lot of the similar uh, trainers. They probably don't want to put... I, would, I, I, would, I don't want to say diversity. They definitely want to put a diverse mix. But they probably don't want to make it any, really one-sided. You got the non-holo version of this Charizard. I'm pretty sure this was a holo rare out of Dragon Majesty. So again, that's a collector piece right there. <clears throat> but yeah, it probably has mostly similar, if not completely the same trainers no that definitely wouldn't make any sense so you got similar trainers in each one i would say got a couple cynthia's cards to obviously go with the charizard and support him solid starter decks to teach a loved one how to play and for 20 dollars, this to me seems like a no-brainer right here I actually got this at GameStop with for 20% off. I got it with the, ba the the bag deal that they usually do. So this was basically $16 in tax for me. You got the Raichu. Again, Cynthia. So similar trainers. It looks like, yeah, it looks like there's a lot of similar trainers in here. But th this perfect presentation, perfect little box to keep everything stored in. Um... I have nothing but support for products like this. If there's any way that the Pokemon company can come out with another way to teach somebody how to play this game in a much easier way. I mean, Pokemon isn't all that difficult as it is, but this just makes it that much easier and that much better. So, definitely. If you guys, even if you already have massive collections and this isn't going to do anything for you, you still owe it to yourselves to buy it, keep it sealed, put it in your collection. This is a great way to support Pokemon and a great way to support teaching other people. I mean, maybe you've got friends that come over and see your cards and they're never interested. Or maybe they are interested and they're just like, eh, I don't really want to try and get into it. It seems kind of complex. This would be the perfect way to teach them. So, without any more kind of explaining what this is, 100%, I support this. This is an excellent product. You all should go out and get it for $20. And that's all I got for you guys. So I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you this was at least a little bit informative. Maybe it inspired you guys to go out and get your own. Um, thank you guys so much for spending some time with me and taking a little time out of your day. And as always, I will see you guys soon.